Right, golf mates, are you ready for this? Vlog free of being a greenkeeper, and you've probably seen the thumbnail and the title, and it is exactly what it is. It is going to be an epic video. You're going to learn so much, and probably have a little, you know, have a little consideration for the greenkeepers. Sometimes everything's not rosy in the gardens, and everything's not perfect. So today, I'm with our head greenkeeper, Dave Barry, Mr. Barry, boss, boss, gaffer. What do you want to call me? What is our intention tonight and what is our main focus of doing? Right, what I want to do is bring to the attention to the members of Leather Jackets. Everybody's heard about them, what they do, what they don't do. And what I want to do today is show them where these leather jackets actually come from and how many they are in the ground. Right, you know them as Daddy Long Legs or you see a Daddy Long Legs flying around happily and then sometimes it's bouncing on the grass. Every time it bounces on the grass, it's actually inserting eggs or laying eggs into the turf. Those eggs then start working their way down into the turf and sit there nicely over winter. Right? So after winter's um, got sort of like finished with and coming into spring, they've hatched into a little maggot type thing, which is called, that's the leather jacket, the pupa. And as it gets bigger and grows, it gets hungry. So the first thing and the only food it's got to have is your grass roots underneath where you're stood. So it moves from one plant to the next, nice little white roots that we're all wanting the grass to grow. That starts nibbling away at this plant, that plant, the other plant, that plant stays stunted. The ones they've not got to grows. So you end up with uneven growth on your greens at right. the start of the season. Yeah, and, and we've seen, you know, I've seen that in the past now, and it's because there's more leather jackets in that particular area, and it's going to be hard for yourself, isn't it? Yeah. So what Dave has says, there is no chemicals no more. Well, there's, I said to say there's no chemicals, there's no chemicals that actually work. There's a lot out there on the market that'll say they may do this, they may do that. They're not allowed to say they will definitely kill. We don't want to use the word kill because they don't kill. They just bring them to the surface and then the birds come along and it's natural, right, it's nature. Yeah, yeah. So the birds eat, that's, there's a food source. Um, so the chemicals really don't do us any favours. What we're going to look at today is some good old fashioned greenkeeping. Right, and the logistics of carrying this out on a major scale to do all 18 greens is going to have to be looked at in great depth in terms of manpower, labour. It's been great that you've come along and helped me with this and you've obviously supplied the right materials today. Where so, the... right, you've said today, get it off your chest, come on. Right, my time is valuable, right? And I can't afford to waste much time because I want to have time is money and time is grass growing. I give you one job to get me six rolls of black this queen not six rolls, uh, six blue, uh, six rolls of blue tarpaulin. Bit of a difference there. Yeah, and uh, uh, under measured by about 170%. Yeah, which basically, we've, we've measured this area of this green here now behind us. It's 25 metres long by 23, time's up. It's 570 square metres. Liam turned up with about 60 square meters. Yeah, you'll see night. with the picture now. You'll see with the pictures of the tarpaulin and you'll see the size of this one. And we wasted the time of your grandkids. Who are? Uh, Kean and Jack. Pictures up there, they were brilliant last night, but because I got the wrong stuff, it didn't work. But what you did do, Liam, just one thing, you had a spare piece of black visqueen, which was for sample, and we did use that. And, and that gave us excellent results. All I'm going to say is this wait till i'm not going to show you anything you wait till tomorrow so we're going to get this this green all over here cover that green and tie and it. then we're going to come back and tell you why we've done that or dave's going to tell you why and, and it tell you what's the effects and why it works so better get some graft dave bit of graft bit this. of elbow yeah we need to we've got to get moving haven't we yeah we're going to do it we're going to start at that end the wind's blowing this way so i think we'll have the first roll out and then underlap the next one. So if any wind's blowing over, it's, it's actually flowing over the top and not lifting the tarpaulin up and it don't end up disappearing overnight. Got you. And we've got a lot of timber here. The, the key thing to this is pegging it all down. So have it tight. So it's tight, get it down and it doesn't blow away. And we come in the morning and that's still there. Oh, you've got a strapping lad, Dave. Come on, let's come get on, let's it. do it. Let's do it. Right, golf mates, the graft has been done. We have covered it with black tarpaulin. So what's this method? What will this do for the grubs or whatever you call them, leather right, jackets? A right. couple of things. Uh, one, as, uh, with the blackness as well, it's going to signify that it's night time. Right? All these little grubs that are in the ground, they come out at night time because they know they're safe. Right? So they'll come out to the top of the ground tonight and they'll, they'll stay there. But they, they basically come up to breathe because right. right? they can't breathe that much underground. That's why they're coming to the top. Um, early in the morning, when the birds start getting up in the morning, singing, whistling, the first thing they're looking for is food. 
the ideal thing for them is the leather jackets it would be sat on the ground so what do you do the leather jackets go back inside so the birds are scratching around for the odd one that's left on the surface the fact that it's night time still the leather jackets will still be there so when we turn up in the morning at around about 7 30 first thing we're going to do is remove all the timber we're going to pull all of this queen off the top and what you will see underneath there is for tomorrow's video right uh, it's, going be, want, it's, going, it's be, going to be it's going to be amazing it's going to be moving but what it will do is it won't um be user unfriendly the birds will come down and the birds will naturally get the food which you would get generally yeah. in the environment so we're not doing anything untoward and it's perfect for the for the birds and, and the animals we might come back on it because we will be doing some more work so tomorrow let's just say it's going to be crazy under there with yeah. these leather jackets we're going to get them all up and give them the birds do you reckon within a few weeks we'll see the grass to improve or anything we, like that? We, without a doubt, because basically with all those insects not in the ground, they're not eating the roots. So the grass will be a lot stronger on the top because it's got root down below to supply nutrients to the grass on the top. Happy days all round. Um, what we will see is possibly a line where the visqueen finishes, where this turf might be slightly lighter. Right. Because you might get more invigoration of the grass, which is now getting more... Um, nutrients from the, the grass plant from the yeah, soil yeah. naturally you know so I'm hoping we can come back with a drawing in another week or two and maybe pick up a distinct line of, right. of difference and that, that's where I'm looking at so it's gonna be a good night's sleep for me and Dave we'll be here a lot earlier than half seven and uh, we'll see you tomorrow golf mates it is early Joe's got up at half past five it is now six o'clock we're on the way for Charlton to see if we're gonna catch these grubs whatever you want to call them lava jackets daddy long legs what are eating all the roots and getting all the birds pecking. The trap's been set. There's only one thing to do now is uh, get there. Oh yeah, and grab a coffee. And let's see if our traps worked. Right, golf mates. We're down here with Dave. We've had a massive wind, haven't we? Yeah. Some of it's been damaged, but we're hoping we're all right, aren't we? I we're think hoping. we should be okay. We'll get a, we'll get a catch out of this today. So, there's only one way. It's just straight dive in it. Dave, which side are you having, Chops? I'll have the better side. <laughs> right, so Joel come down more. Let's see uh, what have we Let's got. Let's see what we've got. Straight away you can see him here, golf mates. See the little critters. See what we've got though. See them all. Oh, God, and Bennett. Look at all these. Look at hundreds of them. Hundreds. As you can see, straight away, look at them. They're even stuck to the, they're even stuck to the mat in here, look. Are they stuck to it? Yeah. Hey, they're juicy buggers, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, you can see them, Luke, it's black with them, look at it. Oh. All hungry, they've all had the breakfast on our golf greens. There's thousands of them. Pretty active, aren't they? Yeah. I said, if you look at some of them, they're patching, aren't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. They're all at different stages. You, you can, can see all the holes, Dave. What? See all the look, little holes. Yeah. Look at all the little gel, them little black castings yeah. there. I don't know if you can get that. So yeah. Can you pick that up? Yeah, of course. Right. So th this is what the, the golfer, the early morning golfer, will see. These are castings that have actually hatched. Gone. There. These are all little black casings. Ah. So you, the golf one in my only will see if you look across the turf, they're all there, the black little things stuck up out of the ground. That, that's what's but these literally over the whole of this area. Look at the birds down there pecking. Right, if they come up here, if we leave, leave these on the greens, they'd be up here in no time at all, picking picking all these up. Here now, I don't know if you can see here. Yeah. Yeah, that's serious, yeah. So here's a good hot spot, isn't it? Yeah, definitely so. For these fat monsters. So what Dave's saying there, some of them are different colour, they're ready for hatch. Yeah. 
So you can eat, oh my god, you can see there. Yeah. We'll say these, these are each of the grass over a couple of square metres, no problem. We're all doing that. That one's just come out the ground and stood on it, they go. There we go, they're kicking in now. Right golf mates, we've seen a hot spot but we're trying to say if you look here now you can just, they're, they're coming out after the event, they're just they're all piling out here. So this is the hot spot up here, isn't it? Definitely. Seems to be like the higher bit of the green, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. That was a lot wetter down there, the green because all the water off the green runs down that end. Yeah. So they've stayed where it's driest, where they can obviously breathe a bit more. That's what they're doing. So this this is gonna be a lot more I think in this last puzzle. And then we'll uh, go like the clappers to get up. There's a lot here to him in the front. Oh my god, look at this. Yeah, finish one. But you can see that for yourself, go mate. Oh. I mean, you can see yourself here, they're down here, Dave, and at the top, aren't they? Yeah, see what if you come from this angle and look, look back up the green. Look at them. Where it's yellow as well, that's where the hot spots is a bit, bit more yellow around here where they've been nibbling away. Certainly, these have come out since we've pulled the sheet off as well. Mm. So, what Dave's saying here, we probably could have done with this the way some are hatching, some are not a week later, haven't we? Yeah, probably. I say the birds have had a good feed every day we come out. This green has been destroyed by the birds, um, so this, this is probably the last of what's in the green now. Um, but the thing is, Liam, all, yep. that, all, all over the golf course where these are hatching, the daddy long legs will come and re lay eggs in this green again. Get you. So what I want to look at doing, if we can, is do the same thing again in probably March. Perfect. And then we should get a lot, a lot more than what's the bird, before the birds get a chance to eat them. They, look at that lot, that's sort of, they're coming out here to stand. But we've, got, right. we've got even more there, they're coming up for more air. That's right, that, aren't we? Definitely. We didn't have that much on before the cover that. Jesus, it's just black with them, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, all under it. I mean, they're so fat. So, golf mates, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's been educational. In a couple of weeks, we're going to do some uh, polytining, aeration, and stuff like that. So, thanks for Dave, thanks for watching. Thanks to Mrs H for letting me out so early, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.